In this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to use the command prompt on a Windows machine. Let's start by opening up the command prompt. You can locate the command prompt by clicking on star and searching for command prompt. We're gonna be using this a lot, so I recommend you right click it and click on pin to star to pin it to your start menu so that you can access it as a shortcut. You start the command prompt by simply clicking on the icon here and when it starts, by default, it loads into your home directory. So that is the C slash users and then the name of the user that you are logged in as. So I'm logged in as a user called Mark. So it's put me at C slash users slash Mark. This is called the home directory on your machine. The first command that I'm gonna show you is called CD, which is change directory. It's similar to clicking on different files in your file explorer and opening them up. So for example, if you open up the File Explorer and you click on Documents, you can do the equivalent in the command prompt by typing CD and then the name of the directory you wanna to change to. So we're gonna to change to Documents. You can go back to the previous directory by typing CD dot dot. This will take you back to the parent directory, which brings us back into the user home directory that we're currently on. And in my machine, this is called user slash mark. The next command that I'm gonna show you is called DIR. This lists all the files and folders within the current directory. So if we type DIR, you can see that it outputs a list of all the different directories that we have on this system. So these are all the, the different directories and files that we have in our home folder. If I change to documents, do CD documents and type DIR again, then this will list what's in the documents, which is the workspace. Once you've selected the directory that you wanna work on, you can then run commands within that directory to manipulate files within that folder. For example, we're gonna be switching to our project by typing cd workspace forward slash and then the name of our project, which is Python course code. And then we can use the Python command from this location to run Python scripts that we create. I'm gonna be showing you that later on in the course. Another handy feature of the command prompt is the autocomplete. You can use it by using the tab key. So if I go back into the workspace directory by typing cd dot dot, if I wanna move into the Python course code, I don't necessarily need to type the whole thing. I can simply type cd and then the first letter of the directory I wanna to change to, in this case is p, and then hit tab and it will autocomplete the name of the directory because this is the only directory in this folder called that starts with the letter p. Then hit enter and it will change into that directory. If you need to exit the command prompt, then you can either hit the X icon here, or you can type exit and it will close for you. So that's how you use the command prompt. Now don't worry if all of these commands are difficult to remember because we're gonna provide a cheat sheet in the resources of this video, which has a list of all the common commands that we're going to be using. 